What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. Eden emulator just changed everything. What if I told you? The best Nintendo Switch emulator for Android just got a massive upgrade and now comes in three powerful versions? That's right. And it's not just one APK anymore. You've got standard, optimized, and legacy builds customized for your device. Whether you're on a flagship phone or an older Android, Eden has you covered. But that's not all frame skip is gone. Public multiplayer is live, native keyboard support is in, and Eden can now auto-download the best GPU driver for your phone. No PC, no root, just raw switch emulation power right on your phone. This might be the biggest leap Eden has ever made, and I'm breaking it all down. Let's go. First, open the GitHub repository of Eden. Yes, you heard it right. Eden finally has a GitHub repo again. Here, you'll find the latest builds for Windows, Linux, and Android. However, this release is labeled as Eden v 0.0.03 RC2. You may notice there are three different APK files for Eden, which can be confusing. Here's a quick explanation. Use the standard APK for most modern Android devices. Choose the optimized APK for better performance on mid or low end phones. Pick the legacy APK only if your device runs Android 8 or older. Personally, I prefer using the optimized version. Like other emulators, Eden requires notification permission and switch keys to function properly. You can optionally add firmware files. I'm using firmware 19.0.1 for this setup. Next, set your game directory. Eden supports both XCI and NSP game formats. Currently, there's no official compatibility list, but we're expecting that to drop soon. Another important thing to note if you already have Eden installed, it won't get replaced. Will appear as a separate app. To transfer your saves from the old Eden to the new version, press and hold the game in the old app. Tap on Save Data and export it. Then go to the new Eden, select your game, and import the save. Simple, you'll continue exactly where you left off with no progress lost. Let's talk about the new interface, and honestly, Eden just raised the bar. You now get a folder option on the main screen to add games directly. They've also improved the UI modes. Besides the classic grid mode and list mode, Eden now introduces a beautiful carousel mode, which activates in landscape mode. Games can also be organized by alphabetical order, recently played, and recently added super handy for large libraries. The settings menu is quite similar to other Yuzu forks, Heading into the advanced settings, each and every option has been refined and polished. It seems like the developers are genuinely trying to make a difference, especially in the system and graphics section setting it apart from the original Yuzu. Eden now supports 0.25x resolution, equivalent to 180p, perfect for low-end Android phones. And honestly, that's exactly what we want to see from a serious emulator project. However, they've added a powerful new feature, the performance overlay. This overlay lets you monitor game performance in real time. Options include background transparency, position on screen, battery temperature, FPS counter, and more. Another device-specific overlay was also added, but it's still under testing. Now let's talk about the crown jewel, Eden's Veil. This is a brand new experimental settings panel, and it's a total game changer for power users. Although it's still under development and some features don't work properly yet, the available settings are impressive, including extended dynamic state, provoking vertex, frame pacing, LRU cache management, GPU overclocking, VRAM usage modes, memory layout options. With Eden's Veil, you now have precision control over performance like never before on mobile. Another new feature that will blow your mind is the GPU Driver Manager. Now you might be thinking, what's new here? Well, unlike before, you can now download GPU drivers directly from inside the Eden emulator itself. This feature is similar to what we've seen in RCSX UI for Android, but Eden takes it further. You'll find a collection of stable GPU drivers with multiple versions to choose from. Even better, Eden will automatically recommend the best GPU driver for your specific device, making setup easier and performance more optimized than ever. But now Eden brings in something huge. Multiplayer mode. Yes, real-time multiplayer is now available on Android. This includes cross-platform support and even allows you to browse rooms directly within the app making matchmaking smoother than ever. To use the multiplayer option, you must regenerate your token otherwise. Online rooms won't work, even if you've configured it before. Go to Advanced, then System, then Web Token. Then generate a web token and web username. That's it. Now I'm going to install the firmware file to enable QLauncher and check if it works properly. If you've already installed the firmware before, you can directly open the applet launcher without repeating the process. But if not, follow these steps. 
First, open Manage Eden data from the emulator's menu, then select Install Firmware. After that, browse to the folder where you've saved your firmware files and complete the installation process. Once the firmware is installed, go ahead and open the applet launcher to verify if Q Launcher is working as expected. Eden just keeps getting better with every test release. Yes, Eden is currently the best among all Nintendo Switch emulators out there hands down. Whether you're looking for advanced customization, multiplayer support, or a refined and polished UI, Eden is definitely moving in the right direction. So go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. This is Pro Warriors, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.